Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. Last video I will show you how to make a teacher side my class timetable. So we are going to like my class and subjects inside a menu and you can see it here we have made a another button like a action my class timetable. Suppose I will click on the my class timetable so you can see it like all the week all the timetable like start time end time and room number. In this video I will explain when to show direct here timetable means uh, today is uh, like a Tuesday so Tuesday date we need to show here suppose I go to calendar so you can see today is Tuesday so this is the Tuesday time we need to show here okay so Tuesday what is the time so let's go to my class timetable so Tuesday is uh, like uh, time is at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. and room number is equal to 2 so we need to show directly here like uh, my timetable so user means the teacher don't want to go inside and he don't want to check like what's the my class timetable suppose he need to check like a full week timetable so he can go inside and he can check so to, today is Tuesday so we need to show this timetable in here suppose tomorrow is a Friday so Friday whatever here there this one we can show here so let's start now and I can show you step by step what we need to do okay so first of all you need to go resources inside you need to go views inside you need to go to teachers teachers inside we have created new menu my class subjects like a, this is the one my class subjects okay so this menu is open here you need to create a new column my timetables my my class timetable and here you also need to create a new column for the class timetables okay so now everything is good let's refresh the page and check okay column successfully created now we need to pass here to class id and subject id class id and subject id we need to check and we need to get the data for years okay so let's open our database first localhost php my admin before open the database i will do one function get timetable and here I will pass class ID and subject ID. Last video I will show you how to make here class ID and subject ID. So you can check last video. This is the part 2 about the show my timetable in direct column. Okay, so just you need to go for this controller first. Okay, so I am going to this controller, picture my subjects. So just go to routes, inside go to web. And here you can see is my sub my class subjects and this is the assigned class teachers model so we need to go inside and just we need to create another function here because we are calling the functions you can see it get my timetable get timetable so the word get my timetable so let's see like this function okay so just create a new function here static function first is a class id second one is a subject ID and I will return like a zero so we can check is working not working for this function so let's go to back again replace the page so working very well you can see it we are calling this function here assign class teacher model why we are calling inside assign class teacher model inside because we have did inside a controller course so you can see it here assign class teacher model inside we have did our function get my class subject this reason we are using here the function about the get my timetables okay i think you are clear now we need to make here query for this table so let's go to database and i can show you okay schools.com so let's go to first of all we need to get the week id what is the week id for today so we need to make one query for get the week id so what I do, so I can show you one thing how to get a full week name in a date. So just you need to type like the dates inside inside L, small letter L and you can save. So you can see it here. I just refresh the page. So you can see is like we can get the all the means a Tuesday is a full day name. Suppose you can type like this D. So just you can see is a date 27 because today is a 27 this reason. Okay, so I just make a L. L means we are getting the full name of the class, means a week name. Like Monday, Tuesday, whatever day is there every day, this is the name you can find out here. Okay, so it's good. So we need to find out the 
name with week id suppose my today is a tuesday so tuesday what is the week name so is the week id is a 2 okay so tuesday so it is the tuesday where is there okay so week id is equal to 4 you can say let's search this one so week id 4 so we need to make inside one query so let's get a week week model get week using name okay i just create like this function get week using name so just you can pass here d okay so let's go to week models so you know how to go just go to app inside go to models inside you click on the week models just copy and put here and just make it this function here and here you can make like dollar week name and here you can make like one query where name is equal to week name so name is equal to dollar week name okay i think now is good so no any issue and here you can make first so let's go to back again and refresh the page error cannot error so i refresh the page and uh, let's go back again unexpected because we are not close here semicolon this i refresh the page again now so no any errors okay so we are getting the week id so i just return so you can see what is the week id written so is the week id we need to return like four because today is a today this reason so you can see it here four is a return so we know now my subject id we know means and class id know and week id know so we need to get the data for the class id week id and subject id so we need to go here class subject timetable so we have get class id subject id and week id we have get so let's make a one query here so let's go to again here and let's go to here controller inside just go to class timetable controller and we already did before this query you can see class id subject id and week id just copy and go to same controller again and put here okay and here you can make like a class id to class id subject id subject id and get week dot id because we are getting the week id and here these functions calling get record class subject inside we have made all the query class id to class subject subject and week to week and we need to return this data just copy data. so now is a control code is done because we are getting the data here using this function get record class subject class id to class id subject id and week id you can see it query inside a class subject timetable you can see it here okay now is everything is clear so we are returning whatever received i receive like the first record i receive this record i will print instead i close this one we don't need okay here we can print so we, let's start here php dollar php and php i already copied this variable before so i can put here like this okay now we need to check condition we are getting the data so if is not empty so we're going to inside like a end so we can go inside so just back and refresh the page not here go back and refresh the page no any errors okay so let's print some data is printing not printing you can understand so like uh, what is the name of the start time just copy and put here start time and refresh the page 10 am you see 2 we have make an end refresh the page so you can see it but let's convert to am pm so just you can do like whatever we did last time just go to so we can copy easily and short out work very fast this reason i am just copying the code just go years not a years just go to teachers instead go to my timetables and copy this one 
we are did here just copy this functions okay and put here oh, it's better we can type so we can done easily just put here and same thing you can do is the end date with end time okay let's back again refresh the page so you can see it like okay this is the part time english language same time 10 am to m and uh, part time home economics time like uh, 9 am to 10 am so it's clear suppose teacher going to my class time class and subject so you can check okay today is my class is a, like a part time and what is the my subject home economics what time i need to start okay 9 am to 10 am so he don't want to go inside and need to check okay what is the my time there so you can see 9 am to 10 am so we also need to show room number so let's need to show bottom room number. Just make here br. And here you can just type like a room number. And here you can make here room number. So what's the room number column name? Same column, just room number. You can use it here. So class subjects. Otherwise, you can type anything, class, timetable, whatever do you want to use the variable, you can use, because I use like random variable name, class subjects, okay, I refresh, so you can see the room number 3, and here is the room number 2, let's go to my class timetable, so here you can see it like room number uh, 2, okay, working variable, no issue, let's go to for here, room number 3, so let's see, today, so you can see room number 3, and 10 am to 11 am. So is a showing like a look is better and showing the works. So now is a, I think you can understand what I do this work you understand right class my class timetable why I did support teacher login and he is going to my class and subject so he can see it here directly he don't want to go detail please this reason we will show here and uh, I hope do you want to like this video so you can like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel next video i will show you my class timetable in a parent side after this module done after we can start a examination okay so do you want to like so please like and do you want to see like this more video so please subscribe our channel thank you for watching